Hey, what is it, guys? I go back to my channel, but those aren't to call me. And yes, yeah, so I know this channel's dead. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, how long has it been since my last video? Shit, about a year or more. So yeah, uh, last video I think it was like the THX 789 review, and yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was like a year ago. And I'm sorry if you were really looking forward to this channel. Like, oh man, I love his videos. Can't wait for the next one. One eternity later. So yeah, my excuses don't really have none. It's just you know my my first channel is my main priority. You know I focus more on the first channel than this channel. This channel is only for you know videos I want to make of physical items that I've bought and I have an opinion about it. So uh yeah. So um does this mean I'm back and I'm gonna start uploading more consistently? No, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, no, um, I'm probably, I don't know what the fuck the next video is gonna be about. So yeah, I haven't been uploading much because, you know, I've been busy with Real Life and the first channel. Uh, and also, I haven't really bought too much stuff uh, that is audio equipment or technology. But so far, I have been, so you might be seeing more videos in this channel, just slightly more. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not promising anything, so uh, yeah, uh, let's talk about what this video is all about, and that is a review on the Focal Elex. So yeah, I got these headphones in Mass Drop, and yes, another Mass Drop review, <laughs> so uh, this is the third Mass Drop item that I'm reviewing, and it's an exclusive because it's a collaboration with uh, Focal. So I bought these in late December, and yeah, I know, I bought this for myself for Christmas, I was like, you know what, I should buy something special for myself, you know? Oh look, Focal Elex, $100 off, oh yeah, I'll buy that shit, <laughs> because no one in my family knows what the fuck I want. I, they, they'll be asking like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? Hey, yeah, give me this $1,000 audio equipment, or you just give me a pair of socks, that, that's all I care. <laughs> that's that's what I really want. So I've been listening to these headphones since the first day I had them until now. So burden time, it's it's way past what is recommended. So you know I'm actually hearing what these headphones truly sound like. So there's no you know oh I li only listened to this for two hours. All right, let me do a review. No. Now before we talk about the sound quality in these headphones, let's talk about the build quality. So. This is coming from a guy who owns two headphones, so this is not like, you know, um, oh man, I own like a hundred headphones, and I can gladly say these are the best built headphones that I've owned. So coming from me, these are the best built headphones that I own. Like, holy shit, they put this much effort for a $600 headphone? I would get, you know, a thousand dollar headphone, but something that's 600 and the material that they put in these headphones they, they're just quality like sometimes i just like touching the grill like it it just feels nice and the leather i'm not sure if it's real leather but you know it, it it's comfortable like i'm still amazed about these headphones like yo did they fucked up in the manufacturer and was like oh shit we gave all the material to the focal elex ah shit they were supposed to go to the clear oh my god i'm gonna get fired fucking oh my god with this pandemic i can't even get another job Oh man, my kids are gonna start. And another thing, they are pretty light. Um, not lighter than the um uh, Sennheiser 6XX, but still light enough. You know, uh, I don't get fatigue or you know feel like my neck is you know getting pulled down by an anchor. The clamping on these headphones, they're pretty loose, but you know comparing to the Sennheiser, oh these are looser than your mom. Now if you're like me and just listening to these headphones, you know while in the computer and not doing too much you know hard activities or you know head bobbing too hard, yeah you're good but if you're using these as a workout headphones or just anything you know that makes you active and do a lot of movement yeah these are gonna fall off a lot so now let's talk about the sound quality of these headphones so the focal elix so what made me want to buy new headphones these headphones was because i had the sennheisers for about three years right now three years uh at the time two years and you know i just bought um at 2018 christmas uh the thx triple a 789s and it sounded amazing with the Sennheisers. But, you know, I was like, yeah, you know what? I, I want to buy new shit. I want to buy the Sennheisers, but better. Like, I want to find a headphone that is as close to the Sennheisers, but better, right? And I was hearing a lot of people compare the Elex with the 6XX, saying that, oh, the Focal Elex are the 6XX, but with steroids. So I was like, all right, I'll buy them. So I got them. I had them for, um, <laughs> for fucking two days. And I was like... What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what is this? Like, these don't sound anywhere close to the Sennheiser 6X. Like, what the what, what was wrong with people's ears when they were typing that shit? <laughs> like, they were like, yep, these they sound like the Sennheisers. No. <laughs> so it turns out what people meant they sound the same, they actually meant the measurements on both of these headphones are the same. So coming from a guy who owns both of them, I could say no, they don't sound 
anywhere similar. And that kind of fucked me up because the first week of having these headphones, I was having buyer's remorse. So I was like, oh no, they don't sound anything close to the Sennheisers because the Sennheisers, they sounded neutral but warm. But these sounded bright but neutral. So already I was uncomfortable and I, I felt dumb for buying this. I was already having buyer's remorse. I was ready to return these headphones because they don't sound like what I was expecting. But then, you know, I realized, let's just give this a week because I was telling myself, oh, hold up, <laughs> we don't have to return them. Let's just wait, you know, let's just wait for a week. And if we don't like them, and plus we haven't burned into these headphones yet. So give it a week. And if you don't like them after that, let's just return them. So I had them for a week. I burned them out already. And I already noticed that it sounded different. And then after that week, I fell in love with these headphones. These are, <laughs> I only own two headphones and... These are the best headphones I've ever heard. So yeah, I'm very glad that I haven't returned these headphones because, oh my fucking, I, I love them. <laughs> like, almost every day, I'm falling in love with these headphones again because every day, I'm listening to songs that I've always listened to almost every day with the Sennheisers and my IEMs, but in my Focal Elix, it sounds like an upgrade. So these headphones I would categorize as Hi-Fi while the Sennheiser 6XX are Mid-Fi. So my favorite part about these headphones are the resolution, the highs, uh, the sound stage, the vocals, and the bass. Now, I will talk about the bass later because there's also a negative about that too. So before these headphones, I never really heard of bright headphones, you know. I've heard of, you know, warm headphones or neutral headphones, but never bright. And I would imagine I wouldn't like them because, you know, I like warmth on my headphones. So when I hear, you know, back then, I didn't have too much experience with headphones, you know. So when I hear, oh, these headphones are warm, oh, that means, you know, they focus more on the low end and the mid range or, you know, the bass, you know. That's what I think when people say, oh, these are warm sounding headphones. Now, when I hear people say, oh, these are bright sounding headphones, I think, Think, oh, they're focusing more on the highs, you know, the acoustics, uh, the instruments. That's what I thought back then. That, that was my mindset back then, all right? So when I had these headphones, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Like, these were totally different from any other headphones I've owned. So that's why, you know, I was out of my comfort zone when I heard these headphones, you know. these They sounded more cooler than any other headphones I've had, you know. I thought dynamics that were all supposed to be warm but this one sounded way different it sounded kind of like a planar and at the time when i was thinking of that i've only heard of one planar and that was the high and sandaras so i've only had one experience with a planar so it, it kind of sounded close to that so my mindset on bright headphones are oh i don't really care about you know the high ends of headphones all i really care about is the mid and the lows but after owning these headphones that view changed. Once I burned into these headphones, I could no longer go back to the Sennheiser 6XX. Holy shit, these are clean as fuck. These have great resolution. Like, the Sennheisers to me right now, going back to it after listening to the folk how he likes, they sound muffled. Now, I'm exaggerating, but it does sound muffled to me comparing to the Elex. It sounds like, you know, there's something between the, the speakers and me, you know, with the Sennheisers. But with these, it sounds transparent. It feels like, like it somewhat feels like I'm in the music sometimes. Like, here's an example. When I'm listening to the Sennheisers and whenever I raise the volume up in those headphones, it sounds like the vocals and the instruments are getting louder at the same time. Like, they have to be at the same level of loudness. But in these headphones, the Alex, depending what's playing, like either instruments or either it's a male or female vocal, everything doesn't get loud at the same time, at the same level. Either a vocal might sound louder than the violin or the drums might sound louder than the vocals. I just realized what I'm trying to describe, and the word is, these headphones are very dynamic. Now at first, I was kind of scared of these headphones because they were unpredictable. You know, I would have my volume knob somewhere around, I don't know, like, um, you know, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and there would be that one instrument, like a horn, it would be like, oh, okay, I'll be loud as fuck because these are dynamics. And it would, it would sound like I'm in, like, 1 o'clock. I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah, for a while, I was kind of scared of these headphones because they were unpredictable and how dynamic they were. You know, whenever I go to the next track, I, I'm like, all right, I got to put that shit very low and then raise it up little by little so I don't get fucking, you know, ear raped. Now, I realized the problem, and that was because my Sennheisers, they're pretty hard to drive. And, you know, I, I would usually have, you know, the volume up all the way, I don't know, like <laughs> somewhere around uh, 3 o'clock. That's, that's normal volume for the Sennheisers. But these, these are 
easy to drive headphones. So s somewhere around, I don't know, like uh, 11 o'clock is enough for these headphones. So I would have <laughs> the volume knob all the way past 12 o'clock. And, you know, it, it would it would surprise me. So that was the problem. I was too used to a headphone that was hard to drive comparing to a headphone that is very easy to drive and very dynamic. So these headphones are pretty easy to drive. Um, I haven't tried it on my phone because I don't have an adapter, but I would imagine it would drive it pretty, you know, modestly. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention um, it came with two cables. It came with a four pin and a quarter jack. Um, I'm using the four pin because I, I have amps that could do that. And the pads on these headphones are very soft. Um, if you're a glasses user, they fit very well. So sound is not going to leak out from that, you know, direction where the glasses are. All right. So let's talk about the bass on these headphones. So they're not really meant to be bass heavy headphones, but they do have it and it sounds really good. But if you're listening to loud bassy songs, it will start clipping. Yes, your headphones will start clipping. That is one negative I don't like about these headphones. But let's still talk about the bass. So, I notice on my THX, the bass doesn't really appear on these headphones. It wasn't until I had the thought of doing a video review on these headphones where I thought, you know what, I don't really like the, these headphones on the THX, but I do love it on the Onyx 7. It sounds more fun, but... The distortion really bothers me. And then I had the idea of, you know what? The THX has a pre-out. Maybe I should connect it to the own and see if I can get the benefits of, you know, a uh, low distortion THX with a fun sounding class A amp own X7. And I did. And the combinations is fucking amazing. Holy shit. These sound amazing. It's like, holy shit. I, I like I found the bass on these headphones. It's like, I don't know, you had this much amazing bass it's like why didn't you tell me now it's not bass heavy headphones but the bass is beautiful it appears more often than on the thx it's like your child doing something that you didn't thought he could do it's like some so unexpected it's like wait a minute you could do this why didn't you tell me i i, I don't know you have this much potential so yeah these headphones clip um it only appears when you're listening to um uh, loud bassy songs and that's only until that um it the clipping appears more often uh, when I'm listening to the THX because I was trying to find bass on the amp because it doesn't really appear on the THX with these headphones. Now, on the Onyx 7, it does. It appears more even in lower volume. So, yeah, it seems like if you want more bass or just, like, more fun on the LX, you're going to have to get a Class A or just get a headphone that, you know, has more elevated bass. And, yeah, that was the negatives. That's it. <laughs> That's... That's all I could find on these headphones. Like, I, I really tried to, you know, nitpick. I'm like, God, really? There, there's nothing I can complain about these headphones. It's just the clipping. It's just, just be careful on, you know, how much volume you're putting on these headphones. That's it. Like, this has got to be one of the best value headphones you can get. It's affordable. The build quality, <laughs> it, it, it seems way more expensive than it should be. Uh, it has amazing highs, amazing sound stage, and amazing resolution. The only problem is the clipping. That's it. Like, th that is the Achilles heel on these headphones. Like, the clipping. That is it. Like, y you can't complain anymore. Like, these are pretty cheap. Like, compared to any other headphone that is $600 or $700. I mean, maybe you can find one, but, you know, I, I can't find any. And it's nowhere comparing as good as these. Like, I guess if you want to know what $1,000 headphones sound and feel like these i guess but like i said i'm not i don't have too much experience with a lot of headphones so this is you know i would imagine these would be so yeah get it this is a must buy i highly recommend it and i'm very glad that i didn't return it <laughs> so uh yeah um how would rate this headphone uh i would give it a 9 out of 10 um if it didn't have the clipping it would have been easily a 10 out of 10 so uh yeah if you want a headphone that is bright and neutral get this so yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow Twitch, Twitter, Twitch, Twitch, and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Bye.